All right. Our 26 and 2 Bikram method. Starting, please come to standing. Start with your feet together. Interlace all 10 fingers and place the knuckles to your chin, thumbs to throat. Focus your eyes. Set your gaze for just a moment, one still spot. Enjoy the practice. Start to breathe, please, in by the nose. Lift the elbows. Pull the belly muscles in as you stretch your body. Tall as it'll go. Exhale slowly. Head goes back. Breathing out by the mouth. Squeeze the palms first. And then press the elbows to touch. Inhale slow. Head comes down. Elbows lift. Creating a sense of extension, length, and space. Exhale, open up. Knitting the ribs, relax the jaw. Inhale, six, five, four, three, belly and stretch up. Exhale, open up. Let your eyes lead you. So as the eyes go back, trust and let the body follow. Inhale, now the eyes come forward. As your eyes settle onto that one spot, stretch tall as you can. Exhale, open mouth. Tilting the head back, there is pressure between the knuckles and the chin, but just a little bit. Inhale, three more. Working your body into extension and generating a bit of heat through the use of this breath. Exhale, open mouth. Nice, Chrissy. Keeping the heart lifted. Elbows squeeze. Inhale. Bring your weight slightly into the heels. That's it, Allie. Tailbone down as you rise as tall as you can go. Exhale, open up. The eyes go back. The chest stays lifted. The elbows squeeze. Last one for a set. Inhale. Full and complete. As your belly muscles draw in, feel the ribs expand farther. Exhale, and then as you let your head go back, think of lifting from pelvic floor all the way up through the ribs to squeeze the air out. Release your arms and relax them down by your side. Interlace your ten fingers one more time, knuckles to chin, thumbs to throat. Keep those legs solid. Start to breathe in by the nose. Lifting the elbows. Pull the belly muscles in nice and strong. Stretch up out of the waist. Exhale, open mouth. Eyes go back. Inhale, six, five. Again, making it last, that full count. Stretch up out of your waist. And then as you exhale, let this last also. The eyes go back, and you're continually seeking to see farther and farther back until the elbows touch. Inhale. So in this way, the gaze helps us to not only intensify the practice, but cultivate a sense of trust with the body. Exhale. Look back as you go back. When you see the farthest point you've ever seen, look farther than that. Inhale, open eyes. Keeping that sense of lift all through the grinds, feet together, really squeeze the legs. That's it. Exhale, you got it. Now just the head back. Look up at the sky and the ceiling, whatever's above you. Squeeze. Inhale. So as the head comes down, the elbows lift, and you're framing the face with your forearms. Exhale, as you let your head go back, the elbows remain lifted, so the elbows are about shoulder level or higher throughout the breathing. Inhale, breathe in, elbows separate, beautiful. As the head comes down, nice Travis, stretching up nice and tall. Exhale, breathe out. Really nice, Greg. Keeping the length in the legs, the contraction of the core. Squeeze the arms as well. Inhale. Continue to press the weight through the heels. Spread your toes nice and wide as you lift up out of the waist. Exhale. Moving down to our final two. These breaths. 
helping us to land in the body, to warm ourselves inside out. Here you go. Last two. Inhale. As you fill your lungs, imagine pulling air into the very deepest recesses of the lungs. Open up. Exhale. Open mouth and push all that air out that you just brought in, carrying with it maybe even what was there before. For your biggest one, inhale. This breath, turning over the full capacity of the lungs. Get as big, as bright, as full as you can get. Exhale, open up. And then release. Really nicely done. Relax your arms down by your side. Feet are together. Inhale your arms up over your head and interlace all ten fingers. Place the knuckles nice and straight, tight together. Arms straight, elbows straight. Hips slightly forward. Oh, crazy. <laughs> Keep your legs nice and strong. Hips slightly forward. Inhale, reach up and bend your body right and left. Right and left. Warming up both sides. Keeping that nice strong connection in the legs and the core. Keep the abdominal muscles engaged. All right, everybody. Come to the center. Stop in the middle for just a moment. Inhale, breathe in. Reach your body up, straight, tall, all the way up, and then reach to the right. Press your hips to the left. Nice weight stays slightly towards the heel. Beautiful, Ali. Bring your upper body back just a little bit. There you go. Feeling the contraction on the lower right side of the abdomen and the expansion of the whole left side. You're reaching up, out, and over. Now, the arms are straight, as are the legs. Keeping those legs squeezing together as you reach. Push your hips a little bit farther. The weight's still in the heels, and it's that extension of the arms up. Reach for the sky. The push of the hips. Squeeze the legs. Keep your legs pushing up, reaching up. Keep the breath. Open the chest. Squeeze your palms. Come down and push. Hold the belly muscles in. Bring that bottom shoulder forward just a little bit more. Come back up. Inhale, breathing. Stretch up tall. Reach up and off to the other side. Straighten the arms. Squeeze the legs. All right, here you go. Weight back in the heels. Feel the inner part of your ankle pull back a little bit as you spread the toes out. This is going to help wake up the feet and develop a little more strength around the arches of the feet. At the same time, squeezing the outer shins together, the outer thighs together, push the entire hip structure off to the right as you reach up. Really nice form. Bring the upper arm bones back. So the arms are in line with the neck. The legs also in that same line. So your entire body stretching the full right side, and the two shoulders, the two hips, everything remaining in one line from the side. You guys are fantastic. Hug the belly in, squeeze the arms to your ears, come down and push. Change and come up. Now slowly let your head relax back. Soften your neck, soften your shoulders, soften your jaw. Relax your breathing. Remember, your eyes lead the way. First, look back. Now squeeze your legs. Inhale, lift your heart up. Reach your arms back. Stretch your arms all the way back. As your arms reach back, your heart stays lifted. Hips, stomach, and thighs push forward. Keep that push of the hips, the weight in the heels. Roll your weight back, lift your heart, reach your arms, go, you got it, go back, go back, go back, change. Beautiful, stretch up out of your waist, hinge forward, nice drop all the way. Now, as you separate your hands on the floor, on the ground, take some time to move a little, to bend and straighten the knees, to squat down, to twist, to wiggle, whatever helps you to feel a little looser a little more comfortable, and I hope a little more flexible. All right, let's begin. Bend your knees halfway. Press your stomach into your thighs. Wrap your arms back behind 
your legs. Slide the hands under the heels. Gently drop your head. No rush, no force. Just let your head fall. And then press your hips up. So stomach is on the thighs. Chest is on the knees. And your nose reaching for your shins. Roll the weight forward. Press your hips up. Creating in the body something deep. Something dull. Something intense. As you open the backside body and reach the head down, lift the hips higher. Feeling that compression between abdomen and thighs, between chest and knees. Bring now your face into the shins. Slowly come up. Arms out, reach all the way up. Release your arms down. Take a breath, shake it out. Let's do it again. Inhale your arms up over your head. Stretch up and go. Weight in the heels. Hug the belly. Slide back just a little bit more. Lift and turn the belly. We got this three. Come down, come down two. One, lift up. All the way up in the left, reach and go. Nice. Now keeping that solid weight in the feet, pushing it a little farther, reach the arms, really opening up that side body. So much of our body, our activities, draws the upper body into the hips. This time, lift out, create, stretch, pull yourself out of that hip structure and change. Come on, let your head go back. Lift your heart, eyes back, lift up, squeeze your legs, go back, reach back, all the way. You're warming up, you're moving the body, you're breathing the whole time. Gaze settling back along the ceiling, along the sky, whatever it is you see, seek your eyes farther. Move the body with the gaze. Three. Roll back, reach back, go back. Two. One. Stretch up tall and hinge forward. Settle yourself into a forward fold. And just move it up. All right, second set, you're ready. Bend your knees halfway. Press the knees the thighs, wrap the arms back, slide the hands, and let the head go. Drop your head a little weight, just let it fall. Moving into a position that challenges you. Not just physically, feeling the stretch, but creating that place where your breath is necessary to remain calm. Where you feel your body so intensely that that sensation is louder than external thoughts. Create that kind of practice today. Roll forward. Hug the belly in. Deepen the breath. Three, two, one. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, arms down. And open your feet, hips width distance. Separating the heels so that they're just a little wider than you're comfortable with. And your toes point straight ahead. Stretch your arms forward. Set the shoulders deeply. Hug the belly in. And as you exhale, sit down. Bring 100% of your weight into the heels. So much so that the arms are really necessary. Without their stretch, you would fall over. You've got that strength in your arms, the depth of your squat. Hug the belly in, and now wiggle your toes. Absolutely no weight there. It's all plugged into the heels, 110%, all the way back. Press to standing. Rise all the way to the tiptoes, high as you can. Bend your knees, sit down. Knees up, heels up. Upper body remains back. Tailbone dropping down. Belly hugging in. Upper body back. Keep the arms strong. Squeeze the fingers tightly. Fingers level to the collarbone, upper body back. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. You can be sure feels beautiful. This time, come up a little bit. Squeeze your knees really tightly together and 
on your own slow count, lower your body down all the way, all the way. Keeping the upper body lifted as the knees bend. Squeezing the outer thighs together, pull the low belly in and up, relax your toes. Eventually allowing that toe bend so that sitting down is available. No pressure, no tension in the knees. Slowly press all the way back up. Really nice control. Awesome, Travis. Release your arms, feet together. One more time. Separate your feet, please. Stretch your arms straight forward. Plug the arms back. Feel those back muscles, chest muscles starting to fire a little bit. Utkatasana, waking up the major muscles. So you've got the arms, suck the stomach, exhale, sit down. Now you've got the legs, the glutes. Every major muscle right now has the opportunity to fire. Can you figure out how to do it? Squeeze your five fingertips tightly together. This is going to give you tricep engagement. Set the arms into the shoulders. Feel those back muscles. Squeeze and feel your chest muscles. Pull the stomach in, abs are tight, sit down deeper, weight back farther, change, press up. Keep those arms and rise as high as you can on your tiptoes. Spine straight position, bend your knees, sit on your tiptoes. Knees up, heels up, upper body stays back. Keeping that nice engagement in the arms, there's the balance. Gaze is set so clearly. Challenge yourself to come to the very tiptoes. Three, go for it. Two. One, nice dynamic, press up, drop your heels down, nice grab. Release your heels. This time, come back to the toes a little bit. Squeeze your thighs and the lower. Slow. All the way down. Really nice. Now, if you're all the way down, you feel pretty steady right here. Squeeze your knees and lift yourself up an inch. Feel that lift coming from pelvic floor up and underneath the belly button right through this back side of the rib cage. Hold. And then slowly press back up. Nice save, Chrissy. All the way up. Release your arms. And take a breath. You got this. Next is Gandhiasana. We're going to shake it out a little, little bit. Inhale the arms all the way up over your head. Go for it. Right arm swings under left. Once at the elbows. Beautiful. Thumbs to the face, draw the elbows down, sit the hips down, wrap your right leg high over your left leg. Nice, Alex. Squeezing your legs, squeezing your arms. When the shoulders are level, upper body back a little bit, sit down nice and deep. And you're breathing now, it's in and out by way of the nose. It's calm, it's steady, it's rhythmic. Find that ease. Release, inhale the arms up. Left side, left arm under right. Sit down, left leg over right. Wrap, cross, twist, squeeze. Action, thought. Press the arms, sit the hips, breathe bigger, release, inhale the arms up, right arm under left, sit down, right leg over left. steadiness, that ease. 
Release. Inhale the arms up. And then settle your arms down. You're welcome to sip of water if you need one. If you've got that space heater cranking, need a little water, go for it. All right, everybody. I'm going to take a breath and get right back on your mat. We're going to move into the balancing poses. In that said, you just did one. So you're ready for this. Start with your feet together. Shift your body's weight into your left leg. First, feel all the left foot push down into the earth. Then, pull the belly and lift your right thigh up. Flex your right foot. Pull the stomach in, round down, grab underneath your right foot. Interlace the fingers and relax your shoulders. You're here for a minute. There's a lot of time. Focus first on your breathing. In and out by way of the nose, calm and steady. If you're standing like a sub, feel pretty good, you can start to extend that right heel forward. If your right leg will extend completely, drive the heel forward, flex the toes back. If both legs are still solid and you're feeling really stable in your balance, Bend your elbows in and down. And remember, stable in your balance doesn't mean no wobble. It just means you've got this. A little wobble, no big deal. You can overcome it. Continue to cultivate that stillness right where you are most challenged for five. Belly in, legs solid. Three, two, one. Slowly place that right foot back down. Settle in. And shift your body's weight into the right foot. Lift the left thigh up. Flex the foot. Pull the belly back. Round out. Grab that foot. Nice strong grip. Once you have it, that standing leg is solid. Shoulders are relaxed. Focus your eyes to that one clear spot. So while our standing leg has a tremendous amount to do with the balance, so too does our gaze and our breath. Smooth the breath. Slowly extend the left heel forward. With your exhale, it extends. With your inhale, the heel drives forward farther, the toes pull back farther. Pull the belly back, bend the elbows. You're here, three. With strength, two, one, slowly come out. Stand nice and tall, your feet are together. So, we get a second set. Shift your weight into your right left foot. Lift your right foot up. Flex the foot, pull the belly in, round down, grab the foot. Once you've got the foot, if you're ready, go for it. Kick out. Ready still, elbows in and down. Tend to go. Bring your upper body down, your forehead to knee. Stable. At your maximum, you're there. Three, two, one. Slowly come out, really solid effort. Shift your weight piece into that right foot, lift your left thigh up. Flex the foot, pull the belly in, round down, grab the foot. Ready? You go. Find that breathing that supports it. Last five. Be in it. Feel it. Three, two, one. Slowly come out. Really nice. Stand tall. A little back bend. You feel good after that one? Up to you. All right, everybody, now it's 
standing bow. <clears throat> Start, please, with your right elbow to your right side. Reach down, grab your right foot, extend your left arm up. All right, you got this. Now kick. Kick back and up. Stretch up and forward. Kicking and stretching are equal. You have the backwards. Work in. Slide the right sh left shoulder underneath your chin. Beautiful. Feel the power of the kicking leg is balanced by your intensity, your focus. Point the toes of the kicking leg. Let that upper body pull forward. Beautiful. Now, start to bring your upper body down. If you fall out, no big deal. You got this, get right back in. Falling out probably means you tried something new. Getting back in, even when dogs are walking underneath you, that's the hard part. Commit to something new, feel something change. Three, kick, kick, kick. Two, one, slowly come out. Really nice switch. Awesome, Ellie. So in here, there are three intense space heaters going, and Ellie's got a real sweat. <laughs> Makes that grip really hard. Reach down, grab your foot. All right, everyone, you got this. It's a minute of your day. Make it the strongest you've got. Go. For a full minute. It doesn't sound like a lot, but everyone who is practicing this knows that a minute can be challenging. It can require of you tremendous focus and determination. But you have all of that in spades. Pull your body into one line. Beautiful, Diane. Bring that left hip. Squeeze the left hip towards the right hip. Point your toes, nice rock. Charging your body weight forward. Nice. You got it, Greg. Opening up that quad, opening up the chest, opening up the shoulders. Start to bring your body forward as well as down. This is going to eventually stack your two heels in line as your two shoulders move into line in the front. Now, we've got about 10 to go. Start to bring your body forward, bring your body down, touch your shoulder to your chin. Five, four, right shoulder. Three, two, one, kick out, really nice. Switch, grab your left foot, your right foot. That's what I meant. <laughs> And then the left arm goes up. 30 seconds, go. Keep your breathing. So right about now, the intensity of your breath, the movement of your body should be elevating your heart rate. If you notice that your left arm is pointing downward, lift it back up, and instead pull the shoulder forward. This is going to create a huge stretch in your chest, in your shoulder girdle, all through the front side of the torso. And then as you tone the belly, bring your upper body down. You're there, a few more seconds, really charge into it. Five, you got this Travis, four, squeeze your fingers, three, two, one. Nice, awesome, now shift and switch. So grab the other foot, maybe grab the ankle today, who knows? Could be there. Right arm up. And go. Okay, notice your breathing. Pull your shoulders apart. your practice, remember that. Five, beautiful, four, three, two, and one, release, nice. Take a breath, take a step to the back, and up. Inhale the arms up over your head, stretch up, step forward, right foot. Balance, and go, body down, leg up. So 
here, stretching forward, stretching back, reaching the arms under the body, reaching the leg back. Pull the belly in, square the hips. You're there, intensify it. Stretch, stretch, change, come back. Nice work, step forward to the other foot. Take a breath and go, body down, line up. You're there. So remember, it's not about how far you go. It's not about how deep. It's about the way you get there. Challenge yourself to move into new space. It's not about creating a deeper pose. It's about filling whatever shape you have with full intensity, full awareness, change. Come back. And then soften your arms down. Take a breath. And inhale the arms up over your head. Stretch up. Step forward, right foot. And then you go, body down, leg up. Breathe. Set the gaze, steady the breath. Beautiful. As your body moves into one long line, notice your standing leg. Really fire it up, hold, change, come back. Step forward, opposite foot. Find the balance on that left foot, and then you go, body down, leg up. Reaching forward through the crown of your head, reaching back through the right toes. Squeeze the outer thighs together, hold the belly in, stretch, reach, you got this. One more big breath here, change, come back. Release your arms. And we're gonna take a few wide-legged poses. So stand where you need to stand, and then take a big step up, big step up. Feet are about four feet apart, toes in, and then you pinch forward. Stretching the arms forward and down. I'm afraid my heat dish is giving Ali a sunburn. Pinch <laughs> your body down, lift your hips up. Give this nose a lot of heat over there. Hug the belly in, fire up your legs. Nice, Greg, you got it. Roll your weight forward just a little bit more. That's it, there you go, I can see the tremor of the thighs. Awesome work. Hug the belly in as you pull down. Diane, imagine pulling your tailbone down your hamstrings, taking a little of that overextension out for you. Yes, just like that, that's it. So you wanna feel there's a good stretch in the belly of your hamstring muscle, but it's nowhere near your butt, nowhere near your knees. You wanna be right thick of the leg. Change, slowly come up, really nice. Hug the belly and the knees as much as you need to, come up. And then step together and the arms come down. Nice, let's do that one again. Lift the arms up. And as you exhale, step wide to the right, to the left, whatever space you've got. Toes in just a little bit as you hinge forward. All the way down, all the way down. And you breathe. Nice. So there's so many ways to approach this posture. In this particular sequence, two really important things happening. Actually, more than that, but two that I'll focus on. One, the head is below the heart. This is an inverted space. So very normal for the blood to rush to your face. Just breathe calm. And if and you feel the like dizziness, you'll come out really slowly when it's time. The other is opening up the back side of the legs. Just feel that deep stretch. Opening up the legs. So the next pose, we're gonna get deep into the hips. Inhale, lift up. Again, slow. Lifting the head above the heart slowly so we don't get too dizzy. Step together. Arms down, really nice control. All right, everybody, the next one is triangle. Inhale the arms up, nice wide step to the right, five feet. Arms out, pivot the right foot out, pivot the left foot in. And then squeeze the left, bend the right, sit down. And then slowly pivot, beautiful. Right elbow in front of right knee, left arm up. And set your hips forward, your upper body back. So as your left arm reaches up, 
You're looking up, opening and twisting. The two arms stretching away from one another, and the two heels gently pulling towards one another. So there's a tremendous amount of stability as well as opening. For every bit of strength we create, we match it with flexibility. And for every inch of new flexibility we have, we're creating strength to hold it there. Beautiful, you got it. Open up the chest one more time, and then slowly come up. Really nice, pivot the right foot in, pivot the left foot out. Start by just bending the left knee. Your knee and toes track, your right leg is solid, your hips down in your spine straight position. Hug the belly in, and then just pivot the arms, moving the spine into the side angle. The right elbow right, right near the knee, and you're using the right arm's extension, as well as the left arm's, to stretch and open the chest, to stretch and open the shoulders. Beautiful opening, and your breathing is calm. Hug the belly muscles in, reach your arms apart, relax your neck. Last few seconds here, soften the jaw, just look up towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Change, come up, really nice, step together, Arms down. Trikonasana, second set. Inhale, arms up. Step wide to your right, five feet. Arms down immediately, palms down, right foot out. Left foot in. Squeeze the left, bend the right, sit down first. Set yourself up in a way that makes you feel really stable, powerful. That warrior sensation. And then pivot. Go from strength into new space. And then you create strength in that new place. Take it slow. Beautiful. Open the chest. Hug the belly muscles. Awesome. Stretch the arms, stretch the shoulders. Beautiful. Ali, keep breathing. Keep squeezing. You got this. Three. Nice, Diane. Really opening up. Two. One, great line, Travis. Right foot pivots in, left foot pivots out. Squeeze the right, bend the left, sit down. Sink in, and then you pivot. So taking your time, but wasting none of it. So you've got this tremendous amount of strength. Tap into it here. Beautiful, look up. So Chrissy, bring your top arm forward a little bit towards, yeah, there you go, that's it. So there's a stretch in the shoulder, but it's all through the chest, not just in the top shoulder. You guys look great. Squeeze that right leg, seal the outer edge of that right foot down. Two arms are in a straight plumb line, top to bottom. Sit down a little deeper, hug the belly a little tighter, and then change, come up. Step together, arms down. Inhale the arms up over your head. This time step to the right, three feet. Pick up your toes, pivot on your heels, and twist. Square your two hips with the right foot forward, left heel down, and then curl out over that right leg. Curl in, curl in. Now, 
separate your hands if you need to, to help you with balance or to intensify the stretch. But then once you have created that intensity, you've found that balance, start to lift the weight out of the fingers. Press a little bit more into your feet, lift a little more in your core, or maybe just set your gaze a little more still so that hands are not quite as necessary. Slowly come back up. Pivot. Feet together. Arms down. Inhale, arms up one more time. Dandaya Manimakamana Janya Shirasana. Step out to the right. Pick up the toes. Pivot. Right foot forward, back, left heel down, reach up tall as you can go, and slowly you curl in, inch by inch, vertebra by vertebra, until you round in tightly. Forehead to knee. Curl in. Hold the belly. Eyes open. Slowly come up, inch by inch, vertebra by vertebra, stretch out to the ceiling, to the sky, and pivot to the other side. Bring now that right hip forward, settle your feet, stretch up first, then you go down. Feet are three feet apart, hips width distance, add some. Your back heel anchored down, but your body's weight pressing forward. Belly muscles drawn in to round the spine. Very normal to create a stretch sensation on the outer line of the legs in this pose. Slowly curl back up. Touch the floor. 
That's a really good stop point. You can put weight in your hands. Roll to your toe. Slowly bend your knee and sit down. touch. Option to roll to the toe, bend the knee and sit. Listening to the body. See what's there for you today. Standing series, everyone. Turn and relax on your back. The Shavasana. Shazam. You've landed. You ease yourself into the stillness. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, land here. Relaxing the feet first. Maybe moving that sense of letting go through the ankles, the calves, the thighs, the knees. Letting go through the hips. Next pose is Pavana Uttasana. Please start by bending your right knee in. Interlace your ten fingers. Pull. Pull that right knee all the way into your armpit. Feeling that nice deep pressure build. Pull. Moving to a point of intense sensation in the right hip. Change, release, relax your right leg. Left leg up, interlace the fingers and pull. Oh, is that too hot on your head? Yeah, I can change it. I'll change it. It's like 115 degrees one right under cranium. Pull, nice and tight, pull. Release both legs. So awesome. 
tell I've been teaching math at home to my children if I just talk about order of operations as it pertains to yoga. My bad. Hemnets. Anyway, right leg up, interlace your ten fingers, and hold. Oh, the things we thought we could forget forever. Hemnets is not one of them. Hold. As you bring that right knee nice and deep into the hip, relax the ankle of the right foot. Just let that leg be along for the ride. You're using your arms, but not your leg. Change. Release your right leg down. Now left leg up. Interlace the fingers and pull that left knee nice and tight all the way in. And you want this to feel like something's happening sense of productive pull, stimulating blood flow, increasing range of motion, and generally just get the kinks out, pull hard, change and release. Bend both legs up, wrap the arms over the top and grab the elbows. Hug the knees in, settle the spine down, one vertebra at a time. So one of the beauties of this particular practice, the sequence of poses, is all of it's within the natural range of motion. We're not asking for any stupid human tricks. But most of us get tight, and especially when we're taken out of our normal yoga rhythm, tight gets real tight. Change, release. And just know that these poses are gonna help loosen you back up and help you with your mobility and your strength. Just stick with them. Flex your feet, arms over your head. Take a nice strong breath and sit up. Double exhale, forward fold. Turn around and lie down on your abdomen. Heads to the front mirror. That's not a front mirror. Some of the stuff just blow out of my mouth after 16 years, 17 years. So your head's towards some sort of wall or tree line. And your hands are right underneath your shoulders. This is consistent. Elbows are into the body. Two legs are together. Push those feet down. Now as you inhale, pull your body up off of the floor. So it's not just pressing your body off the floor. Imagine your back muscles pulling you up off the floor. Then Engage your belly, tone the core, pull your eyes to the ceiling. Once again, letting your eyes lead your body into space that you maybe are a little unsure of. And it's in that space of unsurety that you create new strength. Hold yourself there, build yourself up, lower yourself down. Relax and look to your right, just ease. Bhujangasana. This is cobra pose. Place your hands under the shoulders. Pull your belly muscles on. So it's not sucking the stomach muscles in, it's just toning the core. Squeeze your legs, lift the pelvic floor, lift the low belly, inhale, lift the body, upper body up off the floor. So you're going to lift eventually until your belly button is on the floor, but the rest of the upper body is in the air. The hands are on the floor, but there's not a ton of weight there. You're using whatever arm strength you need in order to get yourself up and then trying to hold yourself there with your core strength back and front, lower down, release. Relax and look to your left side.
after stillness. There's only a hint, an echo of that sensation left in the elbows. This is about opening those joints. And it is uncomfortable to stretch out tight joints. It's worth it. Roll your arms underneath your body, palms face down. So I gave you a little extra time in between these two sets because I know it's challenging, especially when you're out of your rhythm. Chin forward, right leg, go, lift it up. Try to press those arms down. Nice, because you got it. Push the shoulders down as much as you can. Beautiful, Diane. Hold it. Change. Nice, Rob. Release right, lock left, go, left leg up. Chin forward, left leg up. I see you working. That's it, Greg. Nice, hold that. Squeezing the thigh muscles, sole of the foot, straight up, hold it, three, little higher, two, one, nice, traps, release, bring your mouth down, readjust the arms, keep your mouth down, best effort, and you go, just 10 seconds, pour on the effort to get your maximum benefit, again, it's not about how high you go, it's not about how deep you go, but are you 100% in this moment, three, two, one, down, you come, nicely down, release your arms out, and rest. All right, everyone, stretch your arms out wide from your body. Squeeze your legs together tightly. Chin forward. Inhale, breathing. Lift everything you can up off the floor. So that starts with the arms and legs, right? Your legs are up, your arms are up. Now, tone your belly and try to lift your entire rib cage up. Beautiful, Allie. Arms are stretching and reaching. Fingers squeezing together. Now peel your shoulders away from your ears. Hard up. Change, release, relax. Nice, Diane. Look off to your right and breathe. All right, corner salvasana, our full locust pose. Ready for number two. Stretch the arms out. Press your legs together. Inhale, rise. With your inhale, fill the lungs. And now, when you're in it, calm and steady breaths, moving about 20 to 40% of your lungs capacity maximum. Small sips of air that can last, but there's no gasping. Not yet, at least. Lift up, breathe smooth, like a straight thread, moving in and out, lower down release, and then full exhale as you look to the left. Quads and hips again. 
Open your feet. Settle your hips down. One elbow at a time. Ease yourself back. Slowly come back up, turn around, move into Shavasana, relax and breathe. Flex your feet, arms over your head, nice deep breath, sit up, double exhale, touch your toes, turn, here we go, second set. So just take just a minute here to set yourself up. You want your feet wide enough for the bottom to be able to drop down, but if it doesn't drop all the way, you can still start to go back, and then ease yourself back. So here you go, once you're about onto your elbows, press your knees down and forward before you drop your head up. Now, if back and shoulders touch, arms reach over the top, the knees continue to pull down your forward, and you hug your belly muscles in. So there is a natural bridge in the lower back, the back bend, but the abdominal muscles remain toned, strong. Change, come back up, come forward with the knees, turn around. Flex your feet, arms over your head, big breath, sit up, double exhale, touch your toes, turn around and sit at the back of your mat, knees and feet together, hips on the heels, inhale your arms up over your head, exhale your body, all the way down, all the way till your forehead and fingertips touch the ground, then tailbone stretches back as the arms stretch forward. Slowly come back up, nice and calm. Squeeze the heels as you rise. Release your arms down and turn for Savasana. Move in. And then again, immediately, the moment you hit the ground, be in that moment, that shape. This moment, this shape. Keeping the steady, continuous flow of breath in every shape you take. Flex your feet, arms over your head, nice strong breath, sit up. Double exhale to touch. Fold and turn around. Second set, lift the arms. Slow and steady body drops down and forward. Arms reaching out of the body, tailbone sinking towards the heel. Arms reach, so you feel that sense of shoulder scapula coming forward and out of the body. And at the same time, a sense of depth as the hips pull back towards the heels. Try to straighten the elbows a little bit. And then slowly lift your body back up. Release your arms down. Turn to the Savasana. your feet, arms over your head, big breath, sit up, double exhale, touch your toes, turn around and stand 
stand on your knees. Stand so that the knees are hips width apart. Place the hands on the low back. Press your hips, lift your heart, and reach your eyes back. Breathing the entire time. Slowly come back up. Take your time. Take a seat. And turn around for Shavasana. So for that second set, I'm going to intentionally hold you just a little longer than the first set. I'm going to give you a little more time for exploration. But know that you can also take that time for stillness and Shavasana. Flex your feet, arms over your head. Big breath, sit up. Double exhale, touch your toes. Turn, please, and stand on your knees. Stand so that the knees are hips width apart. Plant your hands on your low back hips. Press your hips forward, lift your heart. And then your eyes go back, your heart lifts up, and your body goes back. And if you can see behind you, about halfway down the landscape, you can reach your arms through your heels. But if as you do that, you feel your body kind of tilt into the lower part of the kneecap, you just want to lift back up. And then gently squeezing the hips, pushing the heart to the sky, searching for the ground below you, searching for your feet behind you. Slowly ease yourself back out. Take a seat. Let the body and the mind come back to equilibrium. And then move to Savasana when you're ready. Flex your feet, arms over the head. Big, strong breath. Sit up. Double exhale. Touch your toes. And turn around. And do a compression posture. So after opening the body fully in camel, we're going to really open the backside body and compress the front. Reach the crown up. Tuck the chin in. Sasangasana. Round in. Forehead to knee. Hold the belly. Lift the hips. You'll notice the compression, the contraction of the abdominal muscles. And then Diane, lift the shoulders away from your ears more. There you go, even more than that. Nice. That's it. Hips pushing up, shoulders setting down the back. Change, really nice, beautiful. Lift up, roll the head up, last shoulders peel back. It's an awesome. your feet, arms over your head, big breath, sit up, double exhale, touch your toes, turn around, sit in the middle of your towel, knees and feet together, lift the spine up tall, and as you exhale, curl in, so you're tucking chin to chest, but also drawing belly muscles to spine, and in, in an effort to peel and open every single vertebra along the back side of the spine, you're open. So you feel this wonderful stretch for those muscles that run from the top of the spine to the bottom. Like a canyon on either side of the spine rising up. Those muscles bear a lot of tension throughout the day. This is the pose that releases them, opens them, rehydrates them. Chain round yourself back up, roll that head up last, and then you turn around. And so, camel and rabbit as a combination are very intense. You feel your body settle back into a new normal, a new space of equilibrium. 
Flex your feet, arms over your head, big breath, sit up. Double exhale, touch your toes. Turn around and this time just sit with your right leg extended and your left foot sole pressed into the upper right thigh. Lift the arms, pivot, and grab the right foot. So first is to grip the foot and you may need to bend your right knee a lot. And if you do, please do, no worries. Then, once you have your forehead on your knee, you're going to pull the belly in more, tuck the chin in more, and eventually re-straighten the right leg. Now, if your right leg is straight, extend through the heel, pull back through the toes, slowly come back up. Switch legs. Left leg out, right foot in. Pivot. Grab now that left. And then you curl in. The drawing in and up of the belly muscles. The press forward through the left heel. And then the rounding and opening of the spine. Change, come up. Bring both legs out. Heels together. Stretch back. Sit right back up. Double exhale. Touch your toes. Take, please, first the index, middle wrap your fingers around your big toes, and then just stretch yourself out. So you can move your butt cheeks by walking around the way, by pulling them out of the way, but you want to settle in a way that makes you feel even on both the right and left side of the hips. Then you fold. A simple posture that is very difficult. You want to create in your body an intense stretch. Once again, opening the full backside body. So, Many of us will feel the concentration of sensation, awareness, in the backs of the legs very normal. Some of you may be in the outer line of the hips, glute knee, butt muscles, hips, low back is normal, mid back, upper back, whole spine. The entire back side of your body right now is stretching. Change, come up, turn around, so awesome. Flex your feet, arms over your head, big breath, sit up. Beautiful. Turn around, sit facing the front. We have a second set, Jani Shiyasana, with Paschimottanasana pivot to grab the right foot, and then you curl over that right leg. Again, if your right leg is able to stay straight as you round over it, keep it straight. But if you have to bend it, go for it. Imagine your body right now. I can't see that much of it, but you're recreating the spinal shape that you had in rabbit pose. This is once again a pose to compress the front side and open the back. Change. Stretch up, left leg out, right leg in. Pivot over that left leg, grab the foot, and then you curl it, and then you breathe in this shape in this body right now. Knowing that the shape is only part of the awesome. You must breathe and that affects the pulse. Affects the body. You must gaze. Affects the mind. The body, the connection. The intensity. Change. So much more than stretching. Legs together, extend back, sit right back up. Double exhale, touch your toes. And then you set yourself up for a forward fold. Again, once you have the shape, apply the magic. Sprinkle it in. Set your eyes to one clear spot. With pinpoint vision, open your aperture, see the world around you. With steadiness and retention in breath, notice how your breath affects you. In awareness, in sensation, and in focus and in intensity. Lift up, turn, savasana. Flex your feet, 
feet, arms over your head. Big breath, sit up. Double exhale, touch your toes. All right, please turn, face any way you like for final spine twist. So what inspires you? Go for it. Bend your left knee, bring your right foot over the top. Right arm behind you, left arm goes up and across. Elbow across the knee, push the knee other way with your elbow and then look over your right shoulder and just twist. Again, just as you started this practice, first your eyes, gaze over your right shoulder. See something. And then move your body in that direction. Hug the belly in, breathe out as you twist. Release, switch. Bring your right leg down and your left leg over the top. The left arm behind you and the right arm up. Bring elbow across knee, push the knee, twist. And then look over your left shoulder to open the chest, to open the shoulders, to open the upper back. Notice your left hip is still grounded, even with your right. Your body twisting along the full length axis of the spine. Twist. Change and release. Release to Shavasana. Alright, everybody flex your feet, arms under your head, big breath, sit up. Double exhale, touch your toes. And turn. Closing the practice with deep breathing. Exhale only by the mouth. Lengthen up. Stabilize. Begin. As always, stay as long as you'd like. Thank you for making this practice part of your morning, your day. And I so look forward to seeing you in person soon. Namaste.